I'm Dr. Robert Frankel, Director of the Cardiac Catheterization Laboratory at Maimonides Medical Center, and I'd like to share with you some thoughts and images on this m septal occluder device. It's used to treat structural heart disease, and Maimonides is one of the first in Brooklyn to be using this device. The septal occluder device is a percutaneous procedure, which means it's put in through a needle stick in the groin. It does not require major surgery. There's no cutting, no scalpels. We choose a large vein and go back up from that vein in the groin up to the heart. We locate the defect and then pass this catheter through the defect. We open up the left sided disc first, we pull it against the septum of the heart where the defect is, and then once it's securely against the wall on the left side, we open up the right sided disc, and that right sided disc gets positioned up against the right side of that hole or the defect there. Once we're secure that the defect is fully covered, at that point the position is good, there is no flow, we release the cable which is securing the device to the catheter and then we remove the catheter. That device stays in place for the life of the patient. It gets embedded into the heart structure, new tissue grows over it so it becomes actually part of the heart muscle wall. The procedure is well tolerated and so the patients are hospitalized just for one day. After that the patient goes home, the recovery is usually one or two days and then they can get back to a normal activity.